18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, this is the blizzard of the great, or this is the anniversary of the great blizzard of 1978. And, you know, it's a part of a winter that we had 60 to 70 consecutive days with snow cover. And with the blizzard, heavy snow, wide out conditions, wind gusts to 60 miles an hour, wind chill to 60 below. And with the snow we already had on the ground and the foot or more we received with the blizzard, 20 to 40 inches of snowpack in central and northern Indiana by January 28th. Storm near the Gulf Coast, a clipper here gelled together, producing this tremendous storm. And these are some pictures from the blizzard of 78. This is from Peggy Turner. This is on US 231 between Lafayette and Romney. And this is near Danville, Illinois after the storm from Marianne up there in Remington. Some light snow mixed with freezing drizzle tonight, one inch or less of accumulation. And then rain and some snow Wednesday night into Thursday, mainly rain the first part, then ending as some snow, and then a potential snowfall event by February the 1st. So far, we've had a little coating of snow over the area, up to a half an inch in some of our western counties. You can see up to nearly an inch around Kankakee, and we've got additional snow showers coming in from the northwest, working their way southeast. The heaviest snowfall right now, kind of two pockets, near West Point to near Linden and also at near Waveland in southwest Montgomery County. Another snow dropping through Attica, Covington, West Lafayette area, some light snow, another light snow dropping through White County, Cass County as well, and upstream, Additional snow coming in from Milwaukee, Chicago, and Gary, all dropping southeastward. And again, uh, especially the western two-thirds of the area, freezing drizzle is going to mix in with this through the overnight. So some slick roads in the morning with temperatures dropping back into the teens, followed by a high tomorrow of 28. We'll be down to 24 by 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. This is the next clipper that will dive in, but it's going to trek a little farther northward. So some scattered rain showers changing to some snow showers Wednesday night, Thursday. And this circulation down here near Hawaii, this could actually be our winter weather event by February the 1st as it drifts towards the southwest, moves into Texas, and then moves off to the northeast. Tonight, though, light snow mixed with freezing drizzle around, but then it'll gradually taper to just some scattered flurries tomorrow. Winds of the north-northeast at 10 miles an hour. If we clear out enough tomorrow night, we'll drop single digits. But with partly cloudy skies expected at the moment, low teens, and then uh, back into the 30s by Wednesday, we'll get above freezing, and that'll lead to a few of the scattered rain showers Wednesday night, and into Thursday, ending the snow showers, and then 20s for a while before we could get some snow Sunday into Monday, but turning colder. Highs in the 20s for several days and even down to 18 by Monday. And we could get some overnight lows below zero by next week. So, again, as we end January, going to February, colder, snowier weather pattern. And today was, uh, and this recent snow was kind of the beginning. Today was the coldest day since January the 14th. And this is going to be the theme for many weeks to come. Definitely. And you were talking about that snowstorm on February 1st. That's the Super Bowl, too. So, if you have yeah. plans. <laughs> Be, be cautious, huh? You, you bet. The good thing is you know it's going to be much warmer in Glendale than it will be here. We can promise <laughs> that, for sure. Definitely, and as the NFL season is wrapping up,